I started about eight years ago uh, up here in Montreal in TriStar. Um, I started in competing immediately, like within uh, within a month of training, I, I jumped in. There was like a lot of tournaments up here in Montreal back then. And uh, in Montreal and, and neighboring cities, a lot, a lot of jiu-jitsu up here. There was, at least not now there was, but there was uh, back then. And uh, I was competing immediately. I was like doing well up here in the scene. And then uh, Eddie Cummings came up here. Faraz brought Eddie Cummings up here for a seminar. And uh, he just mopped the floor with me. It was crap. I've never trained with a guy of his caliber before. Um, you know, I started, uh, I started um, training with, Eddie while he was up here and it was insane. It was just like, I've never felt that before. He'd like any limb I would give to the guy. He just like ripped it off my body. Uh, so that was really cool. It was really eye opening to see. So then he went and then later on Gordon came up, uh, Tom Breeze brought him up for a s seminar, I think, or for, for training. And then Gordon was in another guy like that, just insanely good. So far ahead of anything I've seen up at TriStar. And, uh, eventually we started going down and, um, we started training with those guys back and forth, like George St. Pierre originally had that connection with, uh, you know, George and Frass would go down there. So we started following suit. We started going in that direction and uh, learning from John then coming up, you know, New York's like an expensive place to go to. So we'd go as long as we could then come up and recoup, compete, you know, and then eventually started going down back and forth more often, um, started training more and more with those guys. They, as soon as I really got there, they were like, you should come more often. You should, you know, why do you have to leave all this stuff? So that was really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, they were really cool. Like as soon as I got there, they were like, you, you gotta, you gotta come here more often, all that stuff. So I would try and stay more, I would try and go more often. I'll try and stay for longer periods of time. Uh, eventually I started staying with, uh, Nikki in New Jersey for like months. I would just stay and do like training camps there for, for trials or for big tournaments or big matches. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Then COVID hit one day and I started staying there like permanently. I started, I moved into Gordon's house in Jersey, like pretty much permanently for, uh, for like six months, I think then, uh, six or eight months. And then we moved to Puerto Rico. That was like an insane, insane process. <laughs> and then, uh, moved around all over Puerto Rico. It's been like the past like year of my life has just been moving from place to place to place. It's been kind of like a disaster for my perspective, like my, sort of uh organization and, and routine it's been a complete mm -hmm. disaster but you know it is what it is it's been kind of dragged all over the place and uh hopefully we're finally settling into austin and and that'll be it